Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will tell you about one of this strange type of liquid. Why we call it strange? Because this liquid behaves differently from the normal liquid. Means, this liquid sometimes behave like solid and sometimes behave like normal liquid. And this liquid is called non-Newtonian fluid. Means, in this video, we will demonstrate you about the non-Newtonian fluid. Non-Newtonian fluid means the fluid or you can say liquid which doesn't follow the Newton's law of viscosity. So, first of all, let's know what is Newton's law of viscosity before knowing non-Newtonian fluids. So, according to Newton's law, when we apply shear stress, means when we apply force or increase the force, on the normal liquid then a normal liquid like water then its viscosity remains constant means its viscosity will not change means when we increase force on it liquid will flow fast but its viscosity will not change and their viscosity means flow behavior only changes when we change the temperature and pressure but some liquids means fluid don't follow this rule means don't follow the newton's law of viscosity and this fluid is called non-newtonian fluid and when we apply force to this non-newtonian fluid then they change their viscosity or flow behavior Viscosity either increases or decreases on applying force on this fluid. Examples of non-Newtonian fluid like suspension containing high concentration of solid, greater than 50% of the small particles. For example, like suspension of starch in water. So here we will practically demonstrate the non-Newtonian fluid with an example. Here you can see in the petri dish, this fluid is non-Newtonian fluid. Here we have taken starch in water, means starch in a very high concentration and then mix it with a very small amount of water. Here you can see, if we slowly move our fingers inside this liquid, then our fingers get easily dip inside this liquid. Means this liquid behaves like normal liquid, flow like normal liquid. Means this non-Newtonian fluid behaves like normal liquid when no force is applied. But when we apply a force to such liquid, means on applying sudden force on this liquid, instead of coming out from the container like a normal liquid, it behaves like a solid. You can hear the sound. Just the sound is just like the sound when we hit on the solid surface. Means on applying force, viscosity increases and this liquid act like a solid. Means its viscosity increases on applying force and it becomes thicker and act like a solid. And even if we will hit with a hammer on its surface, then also it will behave like a solid. Means as I have told you, on applying force, viscosity increases, means increase in the resistance to flow. And when we remove the stress, means when we let them still or, or slowly move, then they will return to the earlier state, means liquid state or act like a liquid. You can also perform this experiment in your home. If you are having corn flour, then prepare very thick mixture of corn flour and water. And if you are having starch, then mix the starch in a very small amount of water. So let's know how we can prepare non-Newtonian fluid by the isolation of the starch from water. So first take potatoes. Here we have taken three big sized potatoes and peel and wash the surface of potato with water and then grate it with the help of grater and then transfer it into the water. After grating all potatoes, then mix thoroughly the pulp of the potatoes in water. After grating all the potatoes, then mix thoroughly the potato pulp in the water. So that maximum amount of the starch comes out into the liquid and after this, filter it with the help of mesh and collect the liquid in the container below. Again mix the pulp left on the mesh with the water to separate the remaining starch from the potato pulp into the water. Collect the lower liquid means the filtrate and then again filter the filtrate with a very small pore side mesh to remove the very small pieces of potato from the filtrate. Then keep the filtrate aside for few minutes. After few minutes the starch will settle down at the bottom of the container. Then decant the supernatant liquid carefully in the another container. After removing the supernatant liquid, you can see here the layer of starch which is settled down at the bottom of the container. 
which we have isolated from the potato. Then again add small amount of the water to remove the remaining impurities from the starch and mix it with the glass rod. Starch is a polysaccharide which is insoluble in water. And due to this property, when we mix it with the water and then keep it aside for few minutes, then starch will settle down at the bottom. After mixing, transfer this liquid mixture into the another small size container. Here we have taken beaker and then again keep it aside for few minutes. After few minutes, you can see here that starch settled down at the bottom of the container. So, to collect this starch, again decant the upper liquid, means supernatant liquid in another container very carefully and slowly, so that the lower layer of the starch will not get disturbed and mix again with the water. Here you can see the starch which we have isolated from the potato. Here we have transferred it into the petri dish. This is a mixture of starch in water in which very small amount of the water is present in the starch. And this mixture is non-Newtonian fluid. And here when we suddenly apply force on it, here you can see when we forcefully press the surface of this liquid with your finger, when we apply force on it, this liquid behaves like a solid paste and as soon as when we remove the force, then it is moving means flowing like a normal liquid and then return to its earlier state. So this is all about non-Newtonian fluid. Thank you very much for watching this video.